Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Today we will be talking about shark buoyancy. In this presentation, you'll be hearing from Aria Avalos, Dominique Mendez, and Aubrey Vasquez. The first important aspect of this presentation is what does buoyancy mean? According to Merriam Webster, it is the tendency of a body to float or to rise when submerged in a fluid. So you can just think that buoyancy is when something doesn't sink. An example of this could be how you see boats sailing in the ocean or how you use a tube to float at the river. First, we need to look at the aspects that allow a shark to have buoyancy. So there are three ways that they accomplish this task. It's through their livers, their fins, and cartilaginous skeleton. The liver in a shark is consistent of water and oil. Water and oil do not mix because they are two different kinds of fluids. The yellow fluid is oil and the clear fluid is water. Notice how the oil is floating on top of the water. That is very similar to the oils found in the liver of a shark. The major fin that helps with buoyancy is the pectoral fin as labeled in the picture. These fins allow the shark to lift itself up to make sure it does not sink. Fun fact, due to these fins, sharks can only swim forwards and not backwards. Hi guys, my name is Dominique and I am going to talk to you a little bit about the cartilaginous skeleton that sharks have. So think about it like this. Think about your own bones in your body. They're pretty tough, right? Kind of dense and heavy. Well, cartilage is different. Cartilage is so light that it can float. An example of cartilage is in your nose. If you feel your nose, wiggle it. Notice how you can move it back and forth. Cartilage molds and moves without breaking like a bone would. So why is this important? Well, if sharks were not able to swim, then they would not survive. You see, sharks rely on buoyancy so they can move throughout the ocean and catch fish. If sharks could not float, they would go extinct. If sharks were to go extinct, then there would be an overpopulation of small fish that they prey on. Then, the little fish would starve because there would not be enough food for them to survive. Sharks are very important for their ecosystems. They help maintain balance. All right, y'all. So what else has buoyancy? Can anyone tell us what other animals are buoyant? To help you out a little, we have a picture of an otter and a duck. Can you think of any other examples? Does anyone have questions? <laughs> 